Welcome back, BuilderDude35 here, with the third of four parts to this tutorial on how to program your EV3 car to steer. Now this, this uh, video is going to focus on the steer right and steer left my blocks, which is really only one. After you've made one, you're going to kind of copy it, but, and then uh, reverse all of the values that you've entered. So we're going to start with the steer right. Now this is again where your steering values for your degree values for how far your steering has to steer to go from the center to the very edge of your steering mechanism's capability. This is where those measurements are going to come into play again. So I hope you measured them uh, or guessed and checked until you got it right. If you tune in next week, I will teach you a useful tool that will help you get close to the number of degrees that it takes. Um, but that will be next week's video. So to start here, you're going to take out a motor rotation block from the sensor section. Then you're going to scroll into math and you're going to take out a compare block. Then lastly, you're going to go to flow and take out a switch block. So you're going to take the motor degrees from here and set that as your A value. Okay, now here is where you're going to punch in that measurement for how many degrees it takes to go from center to the edge of your steering. Now, I don't know what it is for your steering, but for the project that I'm working on, it's going to be uh, positive 20. We're going to assume here that right is going to be a positive number of degrees, but if it's not, you can always punch in right as a negative number of degrees. So then what you're going to do is you're going to set this to less than or equal to. Then you're going to change this switch block to logic, just like in all of the other programs. Then you're going to drag this data tab, and you're going to plug it into your switch block. So right now, it's going to measure the motor degrees, and if it's less than 20 degrees, it's going to do one thing, and if it's not less than 20 degrees, which means it's, it's greater than 20 degrees, then it's going to do this thing. Okay, so first we're going to be programming the no case of this switch block. So if the motor uh, realizes that no, the number of degrees is not less than or equal to 20, then it's just going to shut the motor off because that means that we're already steering right and we don't want to continue steering right. Otherwise, you're going to be pushing up against your steering mechanism and you're going to either stall your motor or you're going to break it. That's the important part. That's why you're not just telling your motor to rotate, say, 20 degrees. That's why you need all of this loopy, switchy, gobbledygook here. Because this is, go is what's going to save your steering mechanism from being broken. So now we're going to program the yes statement. That's when it sees that no, this hasn't steered yet, so now let's steer. So what we're going to do is drag out a loop block. Then we're going to drag out the medium motor block. And remember, keep in mind that your steering motor is a medium motor uh, in port A. So we're just going to turn our motor on. And we're going to have a positive power because if it's not at the positive objective that you want it to be, you're going to turn your motor on in the positive direction to get it to do that. So the power doesn't matter all that much. A higher power will get you quicker, more responsive turns, but it's going to sacrifice accuracy a little bit. Now you're going to come here, you're going to adjust the loop, and you're going to go to motor rotation, then you're going to go to degrees. You're going to set your comparison to greater than or equal to, and then you're going to set this to 20. Now note that this 20 is the same value I used over here. So to recap what this program is doing, it's measuring if the degrees is less than or equal 20. If no, the degrees aren't less than or equal to 20. That means the robot has already steered to where it wants to go, and so it's not going to do it anymore. But if it sees, no, we haven't steered yet, it's going to turn the motor on into the positive direction until you get to 20 degrees, which is your desired location where you want to be. So now we're going to make the steer left block. 
which is the same thing as the steer right block, except in the opposite direction. So you're going to take all of your, your number values and make them negative, and you're going to flip all of your inequalities. That's important. If you haven't been through algebra class yet, you're going to learn that when you divide by a negative, which is what we're doing here, the inequality will flip. So let's go to our steer left. We're going to drag out our motor rotation block. We're going to do this quick because I've already gone over how to do it. Motor rotation, compare. Sorry, the compare goes after this. Then the flow block. You're going to set this switch to logic. Then you're going to drag this wire over. When we were programming steer right, we used positive 20 for this value. So now we're going to use negative 20. And we used less than or equal to. So now we're going to use greater than or equal to. And then we're going to plug this data wire into the switch block. Now for the no case, again we're going to drag a medium motor block and tell it to just turn off. But in the yes case up here, what we're going to do is we're going to drag a loop block. Then you're going to put inside that loop block a medium motor block. You're simply going to turn it on and use the same power you did last time, except now make it negative. Last time we used 75% power, so now we're going to put it in negative 75% power. So now it turns in the opposite direction, the left direction. And then since we don't want this to go to unlimited, we're going to set it to motor rotation. You're going to set it to degrees. When we were programming right, we used 20. So now, remember, we used negative 20. And last time, we used greater than or equal to. But now, since we're steering in the opposite direction, there's le we're making less than or equal to. So that's how you make the steering my blocks for this program. Now in the next video, the, the final portion of this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to compress these into my blocks and how to use them to write your own RC program. Uh, thank you, this was BuilderDude35 signing off.